So this is a, uh, a representation of this patient's procedure. And what you are seeing are the fluoroscopic images demonstrating the advancement of one of the uh, percutaneous thrombectomy devices. This device is called Flowtriever. It is a 24 French cannula that is introduced through the femoral vein. And as you can see in the panel on the uh, left, it is being used to deliver uh, the cannula to the uh, right middle and lower low pulmonary arteries. And the panel on the right is being delivered to the left lower low pulmonary artery. Uh, and at this point, once the catheter has been delivered, a manual aspiration maneuver is performed where thrombus as well as blood is extracted from the pulmonary artery and collected on the patient's uh, uh, table side. In this particular setting, when we catheterize the patient, both the left ventricular and the pulmonary artery pressures were over 55. Uh, the, the systolic pulmonary artery pressures were over 55 and the mean pulmonary artery pressure was over 35. And after just a few moments and extracting uh, somewhere between 100 and 150 milliliters of fresh acute thrombus from the patient's pulmonary arteries, we were able to reduce both the right ventricular pressure and the pulmonary artery pressures at the systolic level down to uh, between 30 and 35 millimeters of mercury. And we were able to reduce the mean pulmonary artery pressure down to below 25. So in terms of being able to acutely decompress the right ventricle and lower the pressures in the right ventricular outflow track, this procedure was specifically successful.